she says people, you know, politicians or something are not in their prime. Nikki Haley isn't in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40s. What do you that's talk? Not acor- Wait. I, that's not according to me. Prime so for what? I, it depends. Like, there's so many things that you have to overlook just because you want a little bit more in your tax money. That is the, but if the, the party, if the party nominates uh, Hitler, you're going to vote for him? I mean, <laughs> I, that's what I don't get. And then you have... The, those who are asking uh, for reparations for colonialism and they're wondering, you know, $100 billion, $24 billion here and there, $500 million there. Some people want to be paid back and, uh, and members of the public are wondering, why are we suffering when you are, you know, you have all of this vast wealth? Those are legitimate concerns. Please, black folks, as I said, if this doesn't apply to you, I'm not talking to you. Pay attention to and think about what has been presented in recent history as acceptable behavior. It seems like every single day on television I'm talking about race and it's because of the news cycle, it's in the news, but I'm so, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I wanna, I wanna just go, this is over, can we move on? And, and if you talk about it, it exists. Right. Finish school. You wanna break the cycle of poverty? Stop telling kids they're acting white because they go to school or they speak proper English. A high school dropout makes on average $19,000 a year. A high high school graduate makes $28,000 a year. What is the end game of Black Lives Matter if you don't want to involve in the political process when so many things have come together to help your particular cause? The the, the end game is for us to stop being killed. But how does that happen without legislation, without being involved in the political or the legislative process? It doesn't just happen from yelling. What it sounds like to me is that you're accusing me of violence and supporting something, a narrative that I'm not necessarily in support of. And if you're, if that's what you're accusing me of violence, then you can leave. That's not true. I don't support violence of any type against police officers, against anyone. So if you're accusing me of that, then you're welcome to leave. If you're insinuating that people are accusing or saying that law enforcement across this country as a whole are racist, then your assumption is wrong. Raised without much structure, young black men often reject education and gravitate towards the street culture, drugs, hustling, gangs. Nobody forces them to do that. Again, it is a personal decision. He is right about that too. But in my estimation, he doesn't go far enough. More than 72% of children in the African American community are born out of wedlock. That means absent fathers. And the studies show that lack of a male role model is an express train right to prison, rather than someone who looks like a white hippie from uh, Sweden or Norway. And I think we should start with a true depiction of what Jesus looked like and put that in your home, either a black Jesus or brown Jesus. The bottom line is it looks like it's over for Don Lamont. He was not on the air today, which is bad if you're a TV host. Here's how his co-hosts explain why he wasn't there. Caitlin Collins is live in Warsaw, Poland, where the president will be shortly. Don has the day off. I mean...